I really think I, this is a place I used to swim at when I was a kid, and I really think this is what gave me nightmares. There's nothing more sketchy than a porta potty on the hill. What's going on, guys? Joe and I are out of your schoolhouse lawn. We'll see what happens today. Ah. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Joe at LC YouTube channel and today I'm actually down here at another trophy bass pond from Mass.gov. I got Nate coming in a little bit. I got some old footage for the first time that I came here so I'm gonna jump to that, show you guys little bits and um, so you get my first experience and then come back to us. Also, today's comment of the day is gonna be popping up at the bottom of the screen so thank you, I appreciate it and make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe for your chance to be featured in the next comment of the day. Also, I got the Instagram up where I'm going to be posting little sneak peeks so you guys know what's coming and when and little, you know, little things I share now and then on it to uh, give you a little heads up for what's happening in the YouTube video. So make sure to go give it a like. And uh, this is actually Schoolhouse Pond in Chatham. It's really cool. It's my first time ever being here, but you guys got to see how I got here. It is the coolest thing and I'll show you guys on the way back, but I, uh, I only have a couple hours to be here before I have to go do stuff. So we're going to try some young dingers or yum. Sorry, yum dingers on a hook and see what we can get. That's kind of awkward. It looks like I gotta walk out a bit before I can really toss a line. It's like deep enough to catch something. It's an awkward spot, awkward day, but it's my first time over here, so let's just see. Yeah, we get some of these guys. I mean, I got these actually for dirtier ponds, but I mean, this might actually still work in here. I mean, this is a, looks like a really clean pond, so let's see. Let's get them on, try. It feels so weird to fish a bait caster after just using a spinning reel all day. I'll tell you that much. The other side of the pond looks like the real place to go. That or like kayak out there. Cause we are not. We're not in the best place considering it's a very much a swimming area. I don't want to go too far down because I don't want to look like I'm getting on people's properties, so. People out here are really upset if you come anywhere near what could be their property. What's going to do it then? That means that schoolhouse pond in Chatham, as far as bank side fishing is concerned, probably not that great. So we're just going to go ahead and cross that one off the list. And um, I mean, I'll come back here another time with the kayak and try it out because that's where I think it'd really be good. So we'll definitely have to try that. But it's a nice little, I think that's another pond but apparently it's the town pond and well this is the town pond where I was just fishing and this is a different one there's even signs saying not to go over there so we won't but what a really cool interesting different walk to get out to the fishing spot over there rather than the public area where everybody else is at all right guys Nate's here there we go <laughs> spraying his yeah you're gonna be spraying myself with bug spray I don't know if that could have been better timing the second that Literally finished setting it up. Naples in. Wow. You know, there's nothing worse than putting everything together, getting it all ready to go, about to leave, and then realizing you probably forgot something. So uh, let's see if uh, let's see if Nate remembered it. Dude, my hearing is so bad. Right, I stay cough because I have the trunk open and my ears are blocked up. Mm -hmm. Dude, he, I didn't even pull off the highway until like yeah. I put everything together and I just finally realized that I forgot something. What didn't you bring? And I'm hoping you brought it. Oh no. Bug spray. I even have bug spray that your mother would approve of, Joe. Oh, yes. So, I'll show you where I caught. Oh God, please tell me. You know, I probably, in hindsight, probably should have taken the camera off. If the video looks like shit, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, what do they say? This is not a sponsor, but this is what we're using. Hashtag sponsored. Yeah, no. There's nothing more sketchy than a porta potty on a hill. Let me tell you what. Oh yeah, before we go. You guys see the handoff now, so if Nate doesn't take videos or he sucks at him, you can blame oh, him. Are you gonna? That's a good idea. And the reason why I'm giving you this handle is if you drop it, it floats. 
Well, needs to take it right off towards where I went before. This man's in the zone and ready to go. What's going on, guys? Joe and I are out here at Schoolhouse Pond. I've caught a lot of fish in here, so we'll see what happens today. Nate's practicing his vlogging. Well, I just want to like, hey, whether you use it or not, doesn't matter. I just want to figure I'll give you material and you can pick it. Oh, I'm definitely using that. <laughs> I already know I'm using that. There's so many little dead bugs on the top. It's so calm, I could just sit here. I just hate how this kayak, if I kind of move a little bit, it just turns me around and does whatever. It does, that's why I'm turning around, because if I'm floating one way, it then whips me around the way that I'm going and makes me face the way that I'm drifting. You know what I mean? So it's my own fault for not being completely stopped, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll just, you know what, I'll just go with it and just fish in a circle. <laughs> oh, upper mill, to get into name. upper mill pond, you have to go through the punk horns. Oh, it's... dude, one's nibbling it right here. It's literally right next to a kayak and it just nibbled it and pulled it down. Come on. I'm gonna let it coast back in. I can't believe that he literally just bit it right in front of me, dude. Wow. Dude, it's literally hitting it right now. So Look. I parked at that dip in the road oh. or beside he's, it. He's grabbing it right now. Back over there. It is the most curious fish in the world. Like. Oh, I can I can see. I don't even realize where we're at. This water is so clear I can actually see the worm. Well what I'm thinking is I think they're right underneath us. So I think we just need to back up a little bit. You know what I mean? Cause like I said, I was getting smoked by this one worm or this one fish, but it was right underneath me. So I couldn't really fish it. Brandon would be mad at me for doing fish foot content for free. That thing kerplunked next to you. Did you hear that? <laughs> hear how loud that worm splashed the second it landed next to you? Yeah, see Nate, look. Because I stopped too soon, you see how it turns me around? That's the skeg. Doing that? Yeah, like, because I was coasting backwards when I stopped. And because I stopped paddling, it'll start turning me around like I'm trying to go that way. So Nate was, me and Nate were talking about ponds and whatnot. And I was getting hit underneath the kayak, so we're going to try and fish right where it was. Because it just kept hitting me right underneath the kayak. I really hope I don't go to go get a fish here when the GoPro dies because it's looking pretty low on battery. All right, so we swapped out the GoPro battery. I brought another rod with me. It's every once in a while. And I'm not a big fan of the swivel snaps, but we're gonna try it out here. We feel like using other lures and see how it goes. So now I'm going to try to use a chatterbait. I'm going to use it with this rod, which I don't really ever use. And I bought it this year, so I probably should use it more. Oh, it feels so weird doing this right out there using a bait caster. Hopefully it'll turn us around though, because I really don't want to be facing this way. It's kind of funny because this lure is so heavy that I kind of just fish whatever direction I want to go towards. Yeah, this rod is so much more bendy than my baitcaster one. Look at this. Ready to watch? I'll flick a little bit. Watch this. Be careful because there's a guy coming up swimming, so I need to make sure that I'm not gonna be anywhere near him with the line. Huh? You say you had a nibble? Man, I do not know how Brandon caught a fish with this. I'm not like that thing. I'm not a fan of that rod, I can tell you that much. I just don't like spinning rods anymore after using the bait caster. 
Mine? Like the baitcaster? Oh, they're spinning. Shimano. That's why bait casters are good, dude. And that's just a worm, no weight. It's only a worm. Oh no, I was not. Oh God. I was not paying attention in massive bird's nest. Who knows, maybe the worm will drift down and catch me a fish when I fix this. <laughs> the gnats are insane here. I even been bit. I've been getting smoked over here. Really? Like bad. Did you spray yourself good though? Yeah. You want more? Uh, we'll see. The crazy part is just not getting any bites. At least not in a while. Me and Nate out here till dark again trying to get to fish for you guys. We're gonna do it though. Oh, that's a bad cast. Not really what I was aiming, but it works. We're dueling. We're fishing the same spot with the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually probably a good thing to be honest with you. It's all just about getting on top of them, you know what I mean? Like but the thing is, they're right here. I just don't know why they're not in the mood for the worms. Because we keep seeing them jump. It's hard to stay still, so the video gets all crazy. Gnats are all over my legs right now. I'm gonna fish more patiently than I ever have, and it's just not playing out. It was pretty bad, but we saved it. And that's why I have a fear of deep water. It's how I almost drowned once. Good times. Boring. No, the fear of deep water. It's a long story. That's not told by yelling across the pond. Some stories are better for private environments. Sorry guys, the video quality is me messing around or whatever, but there is so many gnats that keep landing on me. Even at Bugs Brown, but I can only do so much. I'm gonna say I'm really surprised by how we haven't had anything from here. You guys, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. That would be sick. We're on our way to 500. That's when I know I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Yeah, I'm shocked for a trophy bass pond. We're here, I don't know, on a really cool day. Water clarity is really good. And not even really any nibbles. I had some earlier, but that was it. I think I just had one, I'm not sure though. I think I might have just touched the bottom or something. I don't know if you can tell through this entire video, but there's a lot of bugs too. We're kind of just going around the hole outside of this pond because it's not, it's not very big. It's pretty surprisingly deep, but I'm not actually sure how deep, but. All right, we're going to troll over to Nate. I didn't really. It falls too slow. Oh, actually, wait a minute. There we go. Not very. Maybe 20 feet. 
maybe 20 feet. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, so what it is, is it's on the website as the best, like your highest likelihood of catching a trophy bass. And this is the second one I've oh, been you're, to. Look, you're over the drop off now. Yeah, I, I can see it like right here. Isn't that wild? Yeah. That's why I came over here. I wanted to fish the drop off. Oh my God, that is crazy. That's so weird. I don't know if all you guys can see, but it, it's like there's sand and then it just hardcore. And it's cool because it, the water's so clear that you can see it well. Dude, it's so weird. I think I have swam here when I was a kid and this is a place that would freak me out. I really think this is a place that like, gave me nightmares. I'm not even kidding you. Bro, that is so. Ah, oh my God! I really think this is a place I used to swim at when I was a kid, and I really think this is what gave me nightmares. I remember when I was a kid, I would swim near the edge, and I would just look out, and it would. Am I over your bobber? The most excitement we've had all day. I know. Besides the one fish that was nibbling it when. We went places and caught fish. Huh? I know. We make some good videos if we went places in top fish. Yeah, imagine. I mean, to be fair, this should have been a spot where we'd catch fish. Yeah, uh, up until we got here, I would have expected to take Yeah, like, I mean, it's literally listed on a mass website for, you know, having the best chance of catching big fish. Maybe it's just the bad end of the pond, you know? You know what, let's go down there. I know, but maybe they're just not here today. Let's go down there. Let's try it. I'm just gonna go down there. That's where I got one to nibble. I don't know, I got a feeling. Plus we don't have much time left, so. Might as well. Plus I got one GoPro battery left in a dream. That's a good idea. I'm gonna throw out and I'm gonna troll mine. What? If the water is so clear that when you go up beside it, you can clearly see the road all the way down. And it's trying to make me have a panic attack on the water. Dude, look at all the bugs on the top. It's actually insane. I hope the GoPro can pick it up a little bit. You know, I really had confidence in this pond and I'm kind of surprised it was as much of a bust as it's been. Like if you asked me to guess which one did I think we were more likely to catch fish at, this or horse in Yarmouth, I would have guessed this. I need to start doing apparently the opposite of what I think of in fishing I'm starting to learn. Alright, here's to hoping with the sun going down, we're more likely to catch fish. Well, actually, the sun is totally down now. Obviously. Did it come off? I think Nate said he lost it. My glasses somehow were fogged up when I was just changing the GoPro battery. I mean, the moon's already out. Still trying to go, though. Looks like we'll be doing another outro in the dark. Actually, we have headlights. We'll use headlights this time. Man, but Trophy Bass Pond not looking too good. One just jumped right next to me. Oh, that's a shame. I threw it where another one jumped.
I think I'm pretty much right on top of them. The problem is getting something to bite is proving to be more difficult than I was expecting. So you know there's fish in here, they're just probably really picky over what they eat. I don't even know where Nate is, I can't even see him. It's starting to get really dark. What's going on guys? After spending the afternoon out here, Joey and I didn't catch any fish. Uh, Joey was using lures, I was using night crawlers, still absolutely nothing, no trophy bass that we saw. Um, yeah, I know better ponds than this, honestly. I've caught fish here in the past, not today. I don't know, it's been years since I've been here, so. All right, so final thoughts for the outro while I'm trolling over to Nate. I gave this pond the benefit of the doubt the second time I'm here. Last time I was only able to come here for a couple hours, we were having to do something. And so I was like, you know what, I'll try it again. Good time of day. Maybe even go out on the kayak. It's a fun little spot to go and give it, you know, a real chance here. And uh, yeah, we did that and still nothing. I mean, there is fish in here, but man, they do not want to eat apparently. I gotta say, I know many other ponds where you're more than likely to catch a trophy bass than here. I mean, maybe they just go off the depths of the pond or something. I don't know, but seems like it's probably a fairly deep pond. I'll look it up, put it on a screen for you. But, um, yeah. Definitely not a great pond for fishing compared to other ones I've been to. Ah! The bugs! <laughs> well, I can't see anything. All right, I give up. I'm going back. These bugs are going to drive me insane. Nice sunset, though. It's pretty. Real pretty. I'm laugh on the way in. I just get smoked. You're... I had faith in it, dude. I'm really just sad that even after hours of being out here at nighttime and sunset and seeing them jump, we just can't get one. It's crazy. It's really disappointing. Like I said, I had high hopes for this pond. Like, I thought we were going to come here and catch some bangers, but other ponds just seem to be way better than here. I'm just wondering if they're going off of, like, the amount of food possibility in here that, like, this is where they're most likely to get big. Like, I wonder what they get their information from. Like, it does seem like there's big fish in here, but probably not that many compared to other ponds, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I definitely know ponds that have no fish in here. But yeah, there's fish in here for sure, but compared to other ponds, I would say this definitely... What do you think, Nate? Compared to other ponds in the Cape, not too... not too great. What do you think? I didn't catch any trophy bass. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I barely even felt the bite of a trophy bass. And I don't even know if it was. All right, well, time to pack up. So, as far as trophy bass go. I could not imagine standing up in this out there. Yeah, as far as trophy bass go, I'm gonna throw this out there. Not my choice of pond to go to in the Cape. What about you? I don't you? think we'll be back here anytime soon. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. We tried it though. We did. So I got to do ah! thing, but at least you have something you can put in ah! This is the other half, all right. We're gonna pack up. I'm gonna film an intro in a minute when we're done and have the lights on in the car and we'll do it that way. All right guys, so I'm using the headlights so I can do the outro. Nate's already ready to go and packed up, so he's in his car, you can't even see him. Yeah, can't even see Nate. So I'm just gonna do an outro real quick. I already gave you guys a breakdown and everything and thought about that, how this was more of a letdown than it was a trophy bass pond. I mean, there's probably big fish in it. They're just not easy to catch. Maybe we'll try again later in the fall, who knows. So with that, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost to 500 subscribers. Well, we're not almost, but we're on the way. So hey, let's go ahead and do that so I can start doing giveaways and stuff like that for you guys. That'd be great. I appreciate it. Thank you. With that, I'll see you guys in the next one.